Never Stop Learning, week 314. We're going to take a quick look on how to create a 3D ribbon and a 3D tennis ball in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017. All right, so big shout out to my friend Carlos Garro. We've been experimenting with 3D and kind of brainstorming with this, and he's come up with a pretty good technique, and I want to share it with you guys here. Now, the first thing I'm going to create are the ribbons. All right, so let's do that by creating just a couple straight lines. Click and drag using the line tool with the shift key held down and release. All right, I'm going to make some changes to the appearance. I'm going to go with uh, orange ribbon. And I want to thicken up that stroke, so I'll go with 10 points. Now I'm going to grab my selection tool, option, click, and drag. All right, I'm going to hold down the shift key to keep things nice and straight, then release. All right, before I do anything else, I'm going to hit Command D, and that's going to duplicate that transformation for me. All right, so this is looking good. I'm going to select all of these lines, and next I want to bring up the symbols panel. Over here at the top in the window menu, I'm going to scroll through to find symbol. There's the symbols. Click on that, and that's going to bring up the symbols panel. All right, now I'm going to grab my artwork, click and drag. Once I see that plus symbol, I know I could release. And that's going to allow me to create a new symbol. All right, we'll call this one ribbons. All right, great. Click OK. Now I no longer need this artwork, so let's get rid of that. Now I need some geometry to wrap this symbol around. All right, I'm going to hit the M key, click and drag, just draw out a rectangle. And uh, I want to swap the appearance. I'm going to hold down the Shift key and hit X. So now I have a fill with no stroke. All right, over here at the top in the effect menu, I'm going to scroll down and find 3D. I want to choose Revolve, and that brings up the 3D Revolve options. All right, I'll turn on the preview so I can see what I'm doing. Next, I want to map art. All right, over here at the top, over on the right, you have different surfaces. This particular object has three different surfaces. We have the top, bottom, and the sides. So I'm going to click this little arrow here, goes to the next surface. And then finally, we get the right one that I needed. All right, over here in the drop-down menu for symbol, I'm going to choose ribbons. All right, when I click on that, it's going to wrap it around this object. Now, it's kind of hard to see, so let's make some changes over here. I'm going to turn on invisible geometry, and I'm going to turn on shade artwork. It's a little bit slower, but it's going to look more realistic. I'll click OK. All right, click OK again. And there you have it. So we got these little uh, ribbons, these rings going around here. Now, I'm going to make a slight adjustment to this symbol. Over here in the Symbols panel, I'm going to double click on the ribbon symbol, grab my Direct Selection tool. I want to grab all these anchor points on the right. With the Shift key held down, I'm going to use the up arrow key a couple times. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to double click on the artboard. All right, now my symbol's been updated, and so has my 3D ribbon. All right, now I'm going to select this guy here, go into the Appearance panel, and choose 3D Revolve. All right, make sure you turn on the preview. And you could actually reposition this. So this is why I like playing around with 3D. I'm able to come in here and make some changes if I need to really easily. So there we go, a little bit of a tilt. That looks great, click OK. All right, so I'm really happy with how that looks. Now, let's play around with uh, creating a tennis ball. All right, so to create the tennis ball, the first thing I want to do is uh, actually create the symbol that I'm going to wrap around it. All right, so I'm going to hit the M key, and it's going to give me the rectangle tool. I click and drag. All right, get a little rectangle going here. The A key brings up the direct selection tool. Now I can just bring in all of these corners and release. All right, over here at the top, I no longer want a fill. And for the stroke, I want to go with a silver color. All right, now let's make this a little bit thicker. Go to 10 points, and that's actually looking great. Now, I want to bring up the Symbols panel again, and just grab my object, click and drag, just as we did before, then release. All right, so this is Tennis. All right, now let's get rid of the shape and create the object that we're going to wrap our symbol around. All right, so I'm going to hit the L key. We've actually seen this before on my channel. We're just going to create a little half circle here. I'm going to hit the C key. That's going to bring up the scissor tool. I'll click once at the 12 o'clock position and again down over here at the 6 o'clock position. I'll hit delete a couple times to get rid of those extra pieces. Now I want to select my object. 
Over here at the top, I no longer want a stroke. And for the fill, I want to go with a yellowish green color. All right, that's looking good. Let's go into the effect menu, find 3D, revolve. All right, when you turn the preview on, you see that you need to change the edge. Instead of going from left edge, let's go to right edge. All right, that's looking pretty good. Next, let's go with uh, map art. All right, there's only one surface in this situation. So over here in the symbol drop-down menu, I'm gonna choose tennis. All right, and now I just have to resize this guy. I'll bring it over here. I'm using the grid to actually help me out. Come down here, and that's looking pretty good. Let me tighten it up just a little bit. And just reshape it however you need. Like every time I create this, the rectangle is a little bit uh, different. So I make some adjustments here. Now I'm gonna click okay. And this is looking great. The only thing I wanna change is uh, the shading. It's a little bright here. So I'm gonna click right here on the drop down menu, choose diffuse shading. That's looking good. And then you can always reposition your tennis ball. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to try out this uh, 3D effect so that we're able to reposition this ball instead of constantly having to redraw a tennis ball. Once you click OK, you have your 3D object just as before. So there you have it folks, that's a quick look at how to create a 3D ribbon and a 3D tennis ball in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017.